So you'll just navigate to settings, processes, click new. So let's go back to the slide and let's see what is the name it is given here. Yeah, so here is given an example, a scenario, create a asynchronous workflow. When an account entity record is created, the account is assigned to a user. Once, the, once it is assigned to a user, an email will automatically send to the user notifying them towards their new ownership of the account. So the email will contain a record URL. This is clear. Whenever account record is created, new account is created, it will be assigned to some person based on the territory. Okay, and the new user will be notified by an email. And the email there will be a link. Once you click on it, the new I mean the user will be able to see the new record. Yeah. So let's create a workflow for it. So first step first. Click uh, create, uh, click on new category here we are going to create workflow entity it is on account record so once you set this entity type then you can change this one yeah so if you want to change I mean run it for another the same logic if you want to run for an opportunity also you have no way but to create another copy of the same workflow and create it for opportunity now here you have an option a check post run this workflow in the background so if I check this work, that means this workflow will be an asynchronous one. If you want to create it as a synchronous one, you can uncheck this one. But yeah, anyway, even after the workflow is created, you can always convert uh, from synchronous to asynchronous workflow anytime. Click OK. OK, so my workflow got created. Now you can see these two fields got disabled. You can now change this one. So if I want to run it as on-demand, I need to check this one as child process. So I check both this. Then here we have an option, automatically delete completed workflow jobs. Yeah. What happens is each time when a workflow is triggered, the system will keep track of its details in some particular. So if you want to delete that job details, you know, to save the disk space, you can check this one. Yeah. Normally we don't delete it. Then you have the scope, so you have you can mention the scope like user, business unit, parent, child, business unit and organization. Then this is a triggering criteria. You can select either one this or all of this. So in our case, it will be triggering only on creation of account record. I just click save. So the elements of the workflow has been set. After that, you just need to mention these steps here. So once you click step, you can see the items that you can add. So I'm going to add a stage here. So the, here you'll mention one uh, comment. Yeah. So like I mentioned, stages are used to organize your steps in groups. So like this, I can create one more step after this. Oh, I'm sorry, one more stage after this. And all your stages you will be adding inside that. So now you can see select this row and click add step. So I will click step again. So in our case, what you need to do is you just need to assign the record to some user. That is our condition. Yeah. When an account entity is created, the account is assigned to a new user. So what we'll do, we'll check the territory of the account record and we'll assign to a user. So I'll add a check condition. So here is check if the account belongs to the particular territory. So here you can see a link, click on it. So it will ask you to set one condition, I'll select territory there is a field on account record equal to I can mention the territory details here so it is belong to Asia specific yeah so each territory normally will have a manager or account manager so if account territory is equal to Asia specific I need to assign it to the person who belong to that territory so assign it to assign the account record account to new owner yeah assign I'm going to assign it to this person yeah so now this is about check condition now there are situation you need to assign it to a different user right so you need to check if territory is equal to some other territory so what do you need to do you need to add an if else statement so once you select this one and you go to add step you can see conditional branch it will only appear when you select an existing check condition. For example, if I select this one here, 
you won't get a conditional branch. It will work only for an existing condition. So I'm going to select this one, add a, add a conditional branch. So it will select like otherwise if, that means if else. So I will check a condition like, I will select other territory, if territory value equals Americas, yeah, then I will assign to another user, yeah, so here we have one team is there apart from this existing user, so I'm going to this user itself, I mean for the demo purpose, because if I assign this one, it has some security uh, privileges issue, so it won't get a, 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 I mean asset or I can select this one for that matter so yeah so if it is a contract is equal to Americas it will assign it to this team now what I can do is I will if I need to assign it to uh, the admin apart from any of this condition yeah so in such situation I'll add default so now this is equal to if else if and otherwise that means it's like else now I can do some operation here, any operation, any of this, like create a record, update, assign everything. But in our case, I am going to assign it to, again, to the admin, I am going to assign it. Yeah. So you, you check the, I mean, you set the conditions and it will assign accordingly, according to the territory. Next thing is you need to send an email automatically to the user, the new owner saying that the account has been assigned to him so for that one what you need to do is I just need to add another step to send an email so the new user server is being assigned here to whom we will send a email just to notify that send email to the new account owner assigned click on set properties so here you need to mention from whom we need to send the mail so here you can mention many things many ways so either you can select one information here these are the system users any of these users can be directly selected here so from their email ID to the two where you are going to mention the mail will be sent but now we need to set it in a different way right so these are this is the way you will set the static values so always when the mail created it will be sent from same ID but there are situation you may need to do it in a dynamic way yeah in such situation you will use this one for this form assistant where you can set the values dynamically so if I want to send the mail from the person who created the account yeah so you need to select which entity you need to look for this is the primary entity and related entities and what field so created by so these are the field you can select the owner of the present owner of the account record the preferred user the modified by user or the created by user so here I have selected created by select it and click OK so now you can see it is um, selected I mean applied here which is a with the highlight highlight uh, with yellow yeah so created by account so now I mean whenever this account is getting created and the workflow will send an email this place will be replaced by this is just a placeholder it will be replaced by the ID of the user who created this account record same way I can assign it to the new user so here I can select the new owner yeah the new owner we just assign in the last step okay the owner then you can mention some static value here like subject assign account I need to mention the account name here so what I'm going to do I'm going to sell account account name I can mention assigned to you yeah so dear I can mention the name of the owner what I'm going to do is owning user
first name so this is the first name of the owner owning user dear first name of the owning user account account name pin send to you and team please start working on it okay and also you need to mention what the email should contain the record url so each record in crm system has a url right so if i go to one record for example here any record account record it will have some url right that url using that url you can access our record so that's what it's talking about so in our email we will mention that url so there is a, 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 a functionality available for it so here you can see insert hyperlink yeah click on it so it will take you to a dialog where you can mention what that text to display so you can mention account url you can mention as the text to display and the url so that you can select from here that is a field of your account record every record in crm will have a field known as account url dynamic just add it so now whenever the email is sent it will give you the url of the account record is being created same can we get from here also here also you'll get the same yeah record url dynamic you can assign it okay so we draft the mail regards some team name okay cool so we just drafted the email template and just click on save so this is what the step we are going to do checking the condition the territory of the user and then sending an email and finally what we'll do we will add a step to stop the workflow okay all the steps has been added Cool. So we have made the, we have implemented a logic in all the steps. Uh, this is funny. Send email. Yeah, I think. Send email to the new account owner. Just save it and activate it. So once you have done your logic, you need to activate it so that next time when is this condition is met this workflow will trigger for that condition yeah and if you want to make any changes you just need to deactivate the workflow again if it is active so I just activated it you can see now let's test the workflow so to test it you just need to create a new account record okay and just click save so the account is being created once this get created, a workflow will trigger. So how will you check how the workflow is triggered? So two, three ways we can check. Okay. One way you just need to go to that record to related entity section where we'll have a background processes. This is an asynchronous workflow. So in the background process, you'll get the details about all the workflows which are triggered asynchronously. And if it is synchronous workflow, go to process section. So I'm going to go to background processes. So now you can see 15th October. 11.22 so this workflow has been triggered status recently succeeded you can just click on it so here you can see it's a system job okay so every workflow that is triggered is a system job so you can get the information about it when it is triggered regarding which record who is the owner of the record when it is created when it's completed and all that so now here it is a thing so this is how you need to check once we are a developer once the workflow is uh, triggered you need to just need to check it I mean what all the condition is met and how the workflow is triggered so this check check mark means it is properly checked so what is here this territory details is not available so it is assigned to the default situation assigned account Britannia to the admin user so these two conditions didn't meet I mean didn't meet then it is sending an email send an email create new email message so a new email record will be created and it will be sent to that new account owner and is trying to 
stop this workflow that's what this waiting condition is seeing so I just want to click on this record so you can see the email created okay so you can see the email from it will be both my name in this case because I am the one created and it's been assigned to my name as an admin right so that is the, the subject line that you have mentioned assigned record Britannia assigned to you and there is a um, tracking code is has been added okay then here is mentioned dear Firoz the name of the re recipient account Britannia has been assigned then we have the account URL once you click on this account URL it will take you to the URL of the account which is just been created it is taking you to the new account created so our workflow triggered and it's, it is created an email record it, it won't send an email because the email router is not configured if it have been created the mail would have been triggered to the user to whom the account is assigned yeah and yeah so any questions on this